Hey everybody, Kyle here from Smoking Beaver. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay, it's a little windy outside. There's a bit of a whine in the background, we're filling up some uh, floaties for the river. But yeah, I figured I'd show you guys where we are. We're on kind of a little bit of a retreat right now, just hanging out, disconnected, no uh, cell phone reception or anything or any internet. So I haven't uploaded a video in a little bit, but I figured I'd show you guys what's going on and where we are. I think many stoners can sort of share this personality trait of loving the nature and the outdoors. Just look at that. We're actually staying up at a private cabin that's located in a national park here in Ontario, Canada. So we're surrounded by just complete wild nature. And then we're lucky enough to just have a little plot of it for ourselves on this little private cabin. But the rest of the surrounding is all just wild. Trying to take some shelter here behind this tree, hopefully cut some wind down. But uh, yeah, we've been out fishing, just eating a bunch of snacks, and of course, in smoking beaver fashion, enjoying uh, a few joints and using the vape as well. It's good to get outside and enjoy sort of just basking in, in what we have around us. I think that's really part of the stoner sort of hippie culture. I'm glad to be taking part in it this weekend. And I figured I'd share it with you guys. Might be sort of a different video, but I think a lot of people would be interested to see what's going on here. While everybody's outside, I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of the cabin here that we're staying in. It's just super bare bones. It was actually built by the owner on the property. Really cool little setup. Smoking Bivet and I are staying up here in the little loft. This is where we're hanging out. Nice little view. Lots of room. Yeah, there's some mice running around last night up and down the stairs. So if you're freaked out by mice, maybe not the spot to be. But otherwise, it's been super enjoyable just being unplugged and one with nature, you know? Now I just finished my morning coffee and uh, bathroom break comes after that. So it might be time for a trip to the outhouse. Not bad. At least we got a roof over our heads and uh, it's early with the wind. So there's actually no bugs in there right now. This is the best time to go. So, see you guys in a minute. Let's get rolling. Salad. There we go. Ah, just a little guy. Oh, whoa, he's throwing up. First catch of the day. Not bad. At least we caught something on the water, so. All right, mate, off you go. There you go. Those are slimy ones. Up. Awesome. Like a glove. <laughs> well, after a long day of fishing, I like to uh, get some lunch in me. Get some wieners here and.
chicken smokies. These are good. I don't really eat red meat, so these are uh, chicken hot dogs, but you can see they're like big, thick ones. So we're going to get the barbecue fired up and toss some of these on. Burn the hair off my hands. All right. Oh, yeah. Nothing like crispy hot dogs. Oh, after. you double fist your sauces, <laughs> your condiments. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant double fist your hot dogs. No, maybe that too. Double burnt fist. <laughs> Generator's down for the moment, but we've got pie. Pie shot. Look at this. It's like Food Network. It's from a farm. Ooh, a farm it's, pie. It's, um, Tell me Hugley's more, but... Blueberry Ranch. Shout out to Hugley's. stuck in there gotta be careful now this could make for a nice little meditation spot maybe looking out over the water I mean my eyes would be closed regardless but it's flat enough it's comfortable enough I won't get too dirty So, I just sat here and did my 10-minute little mindfulness meditation. And it's a little difficult because there's bugs flying around on me and stuff. And I'm just thinking about this being our last day, us having to pack up soon, thinking about the water. There's a lot racing through my mind, but that's sort of why I do meditation. As somebody who suffers kind of from a bit of social anxiety, it's nothing intense, but I do get kind of anxious around more people in public or what am I going to say and just in general I find my mind races a lot and meditation mindfulness meditation is good for that it can kind of slowly teach you to bring your mind back to the present moment and be just aware of what's going on and you really you achieve that just by practicing so even though it's a little difficult for me to sit here and do it for 10 minutes sometimes the difficult nature of it is what kind of gets it to stick it's just practice you know practice makes perfect you keep practicing bringing your mind back to the breath or just listening to the sounds around you and not worrying so much about okay what's going on what's going to happen in the future what happened in the past or what am i what do i have to do right now it just lets you sort of bask in the present moment so if anybody kind of sounds a little bit like me a little bit of anxiety or a lot of rumination and just can't really keep track of how much is in your head sometimes maybe try a bit of mindfulness meditation see what happens just know if you don't succeed the first a hundred times it's not really about succeeding it's about keeping that practice going so don't lose hope thank you all for watching this little kind of adventure video this is a new thing for the channel but i think it'll be well received and if not well We'll try again next time. If you guys did like this sort of a video, maybe you want to see more just kind of vlogs of maybe going to the city or different places like this, let me know down in the comments and uh, just let me know 
in general, what you thought of this video, what could be better next time, uh, some fun things that could maybe be included. And yeah, if you like this sort of content, want to see more, please consider subscribing. Just hit the little button. Shows me that it's worth continuing and worth putting the effort into. And we'll have to say goodbye right now to these beautiful surroundings. Maybe get one more closer look at the water. That's the beauty of Canada for you. Anyways, I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay safe and have a good one. Thank you.